Now, I've called you several times, and I think you should already know why. Because why do you constantly blame the woman for everything when you claim that women are weaker? I had tried to talk to my son, my grown son, for years and tell him I'm sorry to tell him to ask him to forgive me. He interpreted it as I was trying to rehash something with him, which I wasn't. Okay. Barbara, uh, thank you for calling. Thank you for holding you on the air. Hi, Jesse. How are you doing today? All is well, Barbara. That's good. Now, I've called you several times, and I think you should already know why. Because why do you constantly blame the woman for everything when you claim that women are weaker? When I claim women are weaker, what? Did you hear me? No. You said, the last thing I heard you say was, when you claim, and speak right into your phone, Barbara. You said okay. that when I claim that women are weaker. Right. And what did you yet, say after, what did you say after that? That, that was it. All oh, I said okay. was when you claim that women are weaker than men, but you blame us for everything, and I just don't think that's fair. Like what for an example, Barbara? The children, when we are the only ones that's raising the children. You blame us for that. You blame us for having anger when everyone has anger. Right. You're right about that. Everyone does have it. That's why I'm telling them the cause of it and how to overcome it, men and women. But what do I blame women for? I just I just told you. You blame us for the children. In, in what way? Us, when you say for the children, what? You claim that when a, a single mom, it makes the child angry, that she's overprotective, that um, I can't really think of anything else, but just right. everything. It's not just a single mother. A married mother can do that, too, to, does do that to the children if the father's not standing between the mother and the children. That's why an another reason that the father needs to be there so he can protect his children from the mother. Well, see, that's what I'm talking about. So, what is the mom, what is the mother doing to oh. where the father has to come in and protect the child from the mother? That's a good question. She is allowed evil to work through her in order to turn the children away from the father, which when she turned them away from the father, she turned them away from God. Uh, with what her I with her anger, her jealousy of the father, her desire to control the father, uh, she w and and because of her insecurity, which is of the devil, um, she forced the kids by imposing her will on them. She forced them to worship her. She. See, that's the part that always confuses me. What part when about she, that? Don't how, you understand? Because I don't understand how she how she um, turns the child away from the father. By imposing her mother. By imposing her will on them. And what is her will? To control her saying. will and desire is to cro to control them, so that because she's thinking in her mind that if the kids and the men worship them that they're going to feel better in life, but they don't. Uh, the only thing that will help the woman or cause the woman to be free is that she must forgive her mother too and return to her earthly father. See, that's what I'm saying again. You're still blaming the mom when I don't think it's the mother's fault. You're right. It's not you her. Baby. You're right. It's not her per se, but it's the evil spirit in her because the God Above is the man's God, which is of love, and the God below is the woman's God, which is of hate. Well, how can God make two species, yet one of them it belongs to him and the other one belongs to Satan? I mean, that's saying that, are you saying Satan is on equal grounds as God? I'm saying that when the woman obeyed the devil, when, you remember the story with Adam and Eve, right? Oh, God, please don't go into the Adam and Eve thing, because you already know how I feel about that. Do you, do you, no, I don't know how you feel about that. How do you feel about that story? Are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. And, and how again, do you feel about the Adam and Eve story? I feel as if man deceived 
woman. But you may As be usual, feeling that way, but that's not reality. The, but men are the biggest deceivers that's out here. Because no, they that's are not the true. ones that started it. They started the deception. Barbara, S- Barbara. Satan hey, get Barbara. To Barbara. Adam. Barbara. I'm listening. I'm come, listening. Come down. Who listened to the devil, the man or the woman? The woman did. And when she listened to the devil, but, but what the, impact The devil did, is a man, though, right? He, the devil is a man. No, he's not. The devil is a snake. No, he came in the form of a snake. I told you that no. last time. Uh-uh. You he just, still is a man. Barbara, Barbara, when, when the woman listened to the devil, did she believe in him when she listened to him? No, she did not believe in him. She thought that what he said made sense until God came back and fixed that. Uh, uh, no, That's no, no. Why Stay with me. Jesus was when born she, through when the Eve woman. Believed, when he believed the serpent, did she believe in him? No. But so God was lying. God, God never said that. He That's did. what I'm saying. You're taking the scripture and you're you're twisting it. To fit your narrative. Where did you get the idea? Where did you get the idea that the snake was a man? Because Jesus fought him. Where did you Jesus, get the well, idea Jesus that the snake a woman? Jesus fought a man. Where did you get the idea that the the snake was a man? Because he's masculine. Because he couldn't get through to Adam. Because Adam was a man. But he could get through to Eve the because snake Eve not, was the a snake woman. The snake not masculine at all. The, He's very masculine. The snake so is feminine. The is not strong. The snake is feminine. So that's why the woman has the, this feminine spirit of Even the snake. Even in nature, the snake. the snake is not feminine. So Even you, in nature. Barbara, Barbara. Barbara? I'm here. I'm listening. I'm trying to. That's what I said. I don't quite understand why you always but, but you don't want to woman. understand no it's not that i don't want to. no you you're don't not want your a, mind you're is, not giving an explanation i'm telling you but you your mind is the made woman is so bad i'm telling you but your mind is already made up you got all this stuff about the snake was a man and yeah and Eve and didn't you listen, know that Eve didn't you listen know to that. the surface all right thank you barbara uh-huh. i appreciate you all right call me again her mind is totally made up. You can't convince. Once a person believe a lie, you can't convince them that it's a lie. She called in the serpent a man. He was a spirit, wicked spirit that made a home in the serpent. And Eve did listen to the serpent. And as a result, she didn't listen to her husband anymore. And the husband listened to the woman. She became his God. And as a result, he didn't listen to his father. But, Barbara, thank you, though. Your mind is made up, and I don't want to argue with you about it. I tried to have a conversation, but you're, like, deeply into the lie, and I understand it. I really, really do. Just stay in your hell and enjoy your hell. Uh, Sarah's a first-time call out of M I crooked letter, crooked letter, I crooked letter, crooked letter, I hump back, hump back, I. That's how you spell Mississippi. Sarah, welcome to the show. Dusty, I wanted to tell you how much I appreciate what you're doing. And I wanted, I don't have any uh, real questions, but I just wanted to give you some gratitude and let you know that I am doing the silent prayer every day, several times a day, especially at night. I have shared that with everybody that, uh, I can. Um, and I wanted to tell you, uh, I had tried to talk to my son, my grown son, for years and tell him I'm sorry to tell him, to ask him to forgive me. He interpreted it as, as I was trying to rehash something with him, which I wasn't. I wanted to ask him, please forgive me. Forgive me for making the mistakes I did. Right. Because I want him to be whole and to be, he is whole. He is happy. He's been married for a long time. He, um, and, and we finally, just a couple of weeks ago, I said, look, I just don't 
want you to think that I was ever trying to hold you back or keep you from becoming a man. I never treated him like the Southern mamas do, where they make their child out to be this little king. And I was raised with brothers and all that. My mother was, God help her, she had a lot of mental health issues that she wouldn't get any help for because... She was, uh, that was a big stigma back then. And um, so I suffered a lot of abuse growing up from her. My dad was never home. Uh, it was a horrible, it's a terrible childhood. Yeah. But yeah. she loved the boys. She turned me into her slave in the house. And the thing is, I am taking what I did learn from her that were good things. Um, I know how to, you know, do a lot of things that uh, a lot of people don't know how to do. I'm a lot stronger. I'm a lot more. uh, I'm staying single because I want to be. I don't want to complicate. You've never been married at all? No, I have been married. (laughs) Oh, you have been married? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I have been married. All right. And And because of the example I had from my mother, I wound up making the absolute worst decision with a man because I had no good, I mean, we had terrible role models. And my mother... Before she passed, she had the whole family at one point has been turned against each other because of her influence. Yeah. And it was awful. I mean, it was really awful. And I just couldn't believe how this little old lady was still controlling or trying to control everybody in the family because nobody wanted to go up against her and tell her she was wrong. Yeah. Amazing. They were afraid of her. These grown, big, giant <laughs> men were afraid of her. <laughs> Crazy. I know. I run into it all the time. I know exactly what you mean. But I appreciate you so much. I really, really do. I love what you're doing because I see it everywhere. Yeah. And now that I've been doing the silent prayer, oh, my gosh. I have been through, you would not believe, what all I have been through in my lifetime. And um, when I say I survived some really horrific abuse, my mother, I I had to go back in the hospital when I was nine days old because my mother did not feed me. And I was in the hospital for a long time because of that. They took me to the hospital because they thought I was dead. She did not feed you? Why not? I don't know. And I don't know what happened to her while she was pregnant with me. But this story, I know it's true. And why did you ask her about it? As an adult, why did you ask her? Why did she do that? I, I would have. I wanted to. But my mother was that one that was like, well, it's the one for all you kids. So she resented us so much yeah. for being around. Yeah. And my dad was far from what probably she thought he was when she married him. Um, and he was off doing his own thing and doing work or whatever. But what it's to mess. the point where, yeah, I don't know if we were the side family or if we were the family. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Uh, oh, my God, that is so true. <laughs> and if any of my family uh, listen to this, they're going to hate me anyway. So <laughs> I've always been the black sheep of the family. Beautiful. Because my mom yeah. just literally wore me. She beat me into submission all the time. Amazing. And she tormented me with her. She said things to me. I wouldn't say to somebody that. Uh, that was an enemy, which I probably don't have any. But um, I have forgiven and forgiven and forgiven over and over. And I have forgiven, finally done, over with. Nice. With both my parents 
and with their families because back then they hid all the child abuse that was going on, like this kind of abuse. Absolutely. Absolutely. What yeah, I want to tell um, you, um, uh, Sarah, uh-huh. is uh, with your son, don't ask yeah. him, don't tell him yeah. anymore he need to forgive. You no, go on I'm and not. live your life because he might yes. not be ready to change. He may love as hell. Oh, oh yeah. He, he might, has, not, he, he might no, not be he's ready. Really so. hap- he's a really, he's really very, I mean, he is, he's happy. He's married. He's got a little girl. He's got a great job. He's really tough. I mean, he's a good guy. He told me he forgave me. He said, Mom, I just can't believe now that I'm grown and I've got my own child. He said, I can't imagine having tried to raise a child at your age when you had me. Is he married? Everything. He goes, everything we went through, he said, I never, uh, I didn't baby him. I had to be the, I told him I had to be strong and tough when I didn't want to be. Is he married, Sarah? No. Oh, he's he not. is. He's, my son is married, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not. I mean, my son's married. Well, stay, here's what I want to encourage you to do. Stay with okay. the silent prayer. Just stay with yes. it no matter what happened. If the whole yes. world turned against you, they were never with you yes. anyway. And you just and stay I'm good with, with that. You just stay <laughs> with the silent prayer, Sarah. And all you have to do is watch the not you. Watch those thoughts. Watch those yes. feelings come and go and do nothing about it, and the right. light will destroy yeah. the darkness. You'll be fine. I can t- I can tell you it's already been happening. Right on. For real. Yeah. It has already been happening. And I want to tell uh, you know, all these young girls out there trying to make a relationship with their mom, leave that alone. They just need to forgive and really just, I tried to please my mother my whole life, and it was never enough. Yeah. No, never and try to please anyone else again. No, I'm going to have to run, no. Sarah. I really, okay. really appreciate your call. Call me oh, again. I appreciate you. I really do. Keep doing this good work that you're doing. I will. Really. Call me again, Love all right? Love All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm telling you, folks, the less you do about spiritual issue, the greater it becomes. But the more you do about spiritual issues, the worse you get because there's nothing you can do but sit at the gate and watch. That's all you need to do. Isn't that something? Just think about this. Your life would change from abnormal to normal if you did nothing but watch.